do a quick installation of a kick plate graphic on my Street Fighter cabinet here. Um, had a lot of requests here for people wanting to know how to install them. We're going to do a dry installation on this today. Um, first step you want to do, you don't necessarily have to pull your panel out of the cabinet. I did just for the ease of doing the video here. Um, some kind of cleaner, we use a 70% isopropyl alcohol that will take any fingerprints or greasiness or anything off your panel before you put your graphic on. So we'll do a quick wipe down here. Alright, next step you want to do, take your graphic. Now there is going to be space on either side. I left that on purpose because of being able to slide the panel in and out of your cabinet. So just eyeball it up there and make sure you got about an even amount of space. Take some tape here. Square your graphic up, wrap around your edges. My top edge is square, a little bit of overhang on the bottom, that's all right. Off in the end here. Peel your graphic off your backing paper like this. Take your knife and trim away your backing paper. Hold your graphic like this so lightly. You want to squeegee the graphic onto the panel using overlapping strokes. You don't have to push too hard. You just want to make sure you're getting all the air out as you're going along. Now you can go ahead and pull your tape off. graphic over and pull the last piece of backing paper off and then go ahead and repeat your process here now we do have a little bit of excess down here at the bottom I always like to flip my panels over That's pretty much it. You can also do this process wet. What you're going to want to do is take a spray bottle, put a drop or two of dish soap in it, and fill it to the top with water. And then when you're cutting your backing paper off, spray it wet and do the same process. That does help with getting rid of bubbles. Um, the dry process is very simple, so you can make your decision as to what you want to do. But there we have it. Thank you.